Friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a haul from two stores for you today and we got some really good deals, some new food finds. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free. It's supportive. We would love to have you. So let me flip you around and let's jump into this good sized grocery haul. So the first part of my grocery haul for the week comes from Trader Joe's. I made a quick run when Lola was at chemo. I was kind of hoping the fall stuff was out, but it is not probably in about another month or so. But let me show you what I picked up. So I did get some more of those caramelized onion bell pepper turkey burgers. These are incredibly good. Absolutely, positively delicious. So I'm going to throw those in my freezer. Highly highly recommend. And then I did get some fig cookies. I haven't had a fig Newton in a long time. Used to be one of my favorite cookies. And then I heard the Trader Joe's ones are really good. So I picked up a pack. I also got the little cheese tray. We like this for our meat, cheese, and crackers. I always eat the pepper jack and then Troy usually eats the other cheeses. But this is only $5.99. So really, really good price. And then I did get their seasonal candle. This is peach black tea. Oh my goodness, this, this smells so good and these are like $3.99. I also got some frozen shredded hash browns. This is for my meal prep as well as some uncured smoked salami. This is also for a recipe and it was way cheaper at Trader Joe's than at Fry. So I just grabbed some salami there. I also got some light shredded cheese. This is my favorite cheese from Trader Joe's. And then two bags of the chicken fried rice. Troy loves this and it's only $3.99 the bag. Such an easy dinner. Literally, it's ready in five minutes. We love their fried rice. I also got the organic tomato basil marinara. This is my favorite tomato sauce. It's so good, so low calorie, 60 calories per serving organic ingredients, delicious. And I also got my favorite cracker, my multi-grain crackers. Love these with my meat and cheese. These crackers are so good. I also restocked that oat creamer. I love this oat creamer. I've been having this with my cold brew. Actually, it's what I have this morning. So good. I love this creamer so much. Highly recommend. And then I have heard amazing things about the dill pickle mustard, so I had to get it to try it. I want Troy to try it too because he's been loving mustard, and I think it's seasonal there was maybe two left on the shelf. So, so excited to try that. I also got some Fusilli pasta, Fusilli, Fusilli pasta for my boot camp girls night. It's Julia, our boot camp instructor's 41st birthday. And we're having a 90s themed party and I'm making a pasta salad. So I got the pasta for that. I got some fresh flowers, love Trader Joe's flower selection. Aren't these adorable? Perfect, rounding out summer. And then I grabbed just a couple of bananas. So that's everything from Trader Joe's. Let's jump into the rest of the haul. So here is the rest of my grocery haul from Fry's. I had a really good sized haul this week. So let me show you what I picked up. I got some really, really good deals. I grabbed some thick and chunky mild salsa. This is actually for a recipe, as well as some roasted red peppers. I really like this Mount Olive brand. And then I have some banana rings or pepperoncinis, just something like that for a grinder salad recipe. I have such a good meal prep coming your way. Stay tuned after the grocery haul for what what's in meal prep. And then I needed some queso for a dinner recipe and some pineapple tidbits. It, yes, for my boot camp girls night, it's Julia's birthday party and I'm making a ham and pineapple salad. So I grabbed pineapple for that. I also picked myself up some of the Thomas Light English muffins because these have protein and fiber. I usually just use regular Thomas English muffins, but this is really a better bang for your buck calorie wise, protein wise, and fiber wise. These were $3.99 on sale at Fry's. So I got a big, huge container of the Bob Evans mashed potatoes. I need that for a dinner recipe and I've been craving KFC bowls. So mashed potatoes, real good chicken nuggets, gravy. And this was on sale for $5 for the family size. Speaking of sale, I got some great meat deals. 96% ground beef for $5.84 a pound. So I picked up two. I also got the last reduced ground chicken breast. This is my favorite ground chicken. Love it so much. It was $3.46. 
And then I got some chicken tenderloins. This is for a recipe, for a dinner recipe. I couldn't find any reduced, but this was still a really good deal. And this is the no antibiotic chicken. I got two packages of one third less fat cream cheese for a recipe, as well as some fat free whipped topping. Sargento cheese is buy one, get one free. So I needed a provolone cheese for a recipe. And then I love a good extra sharp cheddar. So $3.99 for two packs, that's $2 a pack killer deal. I also needed some diced ham for the ham pineapple salad for my boot camp night. And then I wanted some chicken breast. I've been making Jimmy John Unwitch at home with lettuce wrapped sandwiches. It's been kind of my favorite thing lately. So I got some chicken breast for that. I also got some ham. I need this for a recipe. And then I thought Troy and I could use the leftovers on breakfast sandwiches. And again, in those Jimmy John Unwitch sandwiches. Let me know if you guys want to see how I make it. We could do it in a lunch in a what I eat in a day video. I got a too good smoothie. I actually got two. I drank one of them while I was grocery shopping. These had a dollar off coupon. So I paid less than a dollar per smoothie. And then I needed Italian dressing and I really wanted to try the reduced fat Olive Garden or the light Italian. I've heard that it's really, really good. So I'm so excited for that. A couple of gallons of just 1% milk for Troy for the week. And then I grabbed some more Fairlife. I am just about out. I use Fairlife for literally everything. I also picked up a ton of produce, a ton. So I have little cherry tomatoes. This is for a recipe as well as a full tomato. Two things of green onions. I need those for a couple of different recipes. Three bell peppers. Peaches were 99 cents a pound. That was like the deal of the century. And so I picked up some peaches and the organic blueberries, the big huge pack is 388 on digital coupon for the week. So I picked that up. Could not pass up the deal on that fruit. I got a big bag of onions because I'm always buying single onions and this was only 399 and onions last forever. Just keep them out in a bowl on your counter strawberries for my meal prep. And then this is the lettuce that I like for my little lettuce wraps and just the lettuce I like in general is the private selection artisan romaine. This was the last one. So I grabbed it for my lunch prep for the week. I also grabbed a 24 pack of diet Coke out in the garage for Troy. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into what's for dinners and what you'll see in that really good meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. I'm making queso chicken. You guys, we'll see that recipe in Wednesday's what I eat in a day so excited for that and then we're doing sticky honey garlic meatballs and then we'll probably have that chicken fried rice from Trader Joe's and then here's what you'll see in Monday's meal prep I'm telling you it's going to be a really good one for breakfast we're doing breakfast burrito casserole lunch is going to be grinder salad and for a dessert we're doing no bake strawberry cheesecake bar so again stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from both Trader Joe's and my local Kroger store fries, some great deals, new food finds, and stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. It is gonna be a fantastic one. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.